Hey there, Rachel Cadden with VintageRock.com here at NAMM 2012 and with me is Tish with Daisy Rock. How you doing? I'm doing really well, thank so, you. I'm excited about your line because it is a guitar line inspired and empowering women. We hear about a lot of men in the rock and roll scene, but you're here to talk and to represent the ladies. That's how, right, that's how, right. We are the only girl guitar company here at NAMM and we always have been the only girl guitar company. So yeah, what we're doing here with Daisy Rock, our motto is we do whatever it takes to get more girls to learn how to play music and enjoy guitar and play music. And that kind of, that idea goes way back for me because I used to be a musician in the 80s in Los Angeles. And when I went to buy my first bass guitar at a music store, I had my boyfriend and the guy who worked there decide for me what I should play because girls just didn't come into music stores and play. And then after I was in my all-female heavy metal band, Lipstick, Every time we would show up at a show to play, they would say things to us like, no, no, we don't sound check the girl bands. And it was like, what? It was so discriminatory against us. It's just wrong. And if you go back to the history of the guitar, you see the girls used to play guitar in the 1800s and early 1900s, but then all of a sudden when Jimi Hendrix kind of put his name on the map, there was no Janice Hendrix to counteract that. And so we've really been, uh, what do you want to say, like the, level, the, the playing field hasn't been level for the female player since really maybe the 60s this is a good time to start about with that so here i was discriminated as a female musician and then one day i decided you know this has been nice i've been playing in bands for a long time but i wanted to have a child and so i had my daughter nicole she was a year and a half years old and i was pregnant with my second daughter and my husband had just taken over as president of Schechter guitars my daughter did this drawing one day of a daisy and I looked at that and I drew a neck on it and a headstock and I took it to my husband and I said you know what we should do and he said what I said we should make guitars for girls and he said well what does that mean now he had seen me as a bass player I had a lot of hard times with how heavy the bass was and how hard it was to play and I said well it'd be lighter in weight and it'd be like more fun we'd get more girls interested in playing right. So we took this drawing that my daughter had done and we created the very first Daisy Rock and we, we looked at like slimmer neck profile, lighter in weight, fun colors. And we we're looking at that going, okay, well let's design what we call the very first girl guitar. And then that was in the year 2000 and it's just exploded since then. We've had so many female artists come up to us and say, it's about time that somebody cared for just us. Now I know it's not for every girl. Not every girl's into the name and some of them want the black seven strings and that's fine. There's other guitar companies out there for them. Sure, sure. But what we're trying to do is just get more girls to learn how to play guitar. And if they're five years old, if they're 15 years old, if they're 65 years old, we're the number one guitar for the Grandmother's Club in the United States. We're also the number one guitar for any preschool. We also donate every year, we donate to any rock camp that has anything to do with any girl. So we support day jams, we support any camp that's out there that's doing anything for female players. Because really our mission is doing whatever it takes to get more girls to learn how to play guitar and enjoy music. Which I think is so important, is getting girls involved where they're not so afraid. And these guitars are so adorable. Not only guitars, but um, bass guitars right. as well. Now what inspires you, continues to inspire you? Um, it's like the girl that was in my booth about 20 minutes ago that's eight years old that just came in and started playing guitar and she feels like there's something for her so she can do it and the fact that we were able to change society's idea of a girl playing guitar I'm trying to put out a positive message that if a girl plays guitar it's not it's not because she's a drug addict or there's been so many stereotypes in the past so I'm really trying to project this image that you know the cheerleader can play guitar the eight-year-old girl in Girl Scouts can play guitar these are all just emotional attachments that girls have and a way to emotionally say what they're feeling through music is through guitar not just piano not just flute, not just violin, right. which has always been the standard. Let's change the way let's change the way society looks at it. And every mom out there should go, hey, my daughter could also play guitar if that's what she wanted to do. Absolutely. Now where can these young girls and young women buy your guitars? <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> that's daisyrock.com. D-A-I-S-Y-R-O-C-K dot com. Well great. Tish, thanks so much for joining us on vintagerock.com. And ladies, you better get yourself out there and get yourself a Daisy Rock guitar because these things are adorable. <laughs> That's right, girls rock. Thank you so much. Nam 2012. There you go. Woo! <laughs>